how to replace ignition immobilizer on a Lincoln MKZ, Zephyr, and Fusion. I've already got mine halfway taken apart. Got the whole shroud already off. But what you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a Torx screwdriver. I've used an I used a Allen wrench. I believe it's a 5.5. I believe so. That's what the bolt head looks like. I just have a, used a little Allen wrench to get to it because unfortunately I do not have a Torx screwdriver, so I just got to do what I got with. So anyways, after you taken the screw out, this is what the piece looks like. It's on like this. So when you're looking under of it, you got your Phillips head screw here, another Phillips head screw here, then you'll have your little Torx head screw here. So basically if it's, it'd be basically just looks like this. Phillips head, Phillips head, then you got the Torx here. So after you've done that, then you can kind of squeeze that. It's got some little grooves into it, little clips. Basically, I've taken mine apart a couple times, so mine was easy. You get, like I said, you got the little groove here. Got some little other ones here that you want to try to get out without breaking. I don't know if you can see them here. Anyways, after you get that off, it's basically just this black piece here. And you got the wire, I've already unplugged it, but there's basically just a little tab here. Right here, I don't know if you can see it. Get the camera to focus on it. There you go, that little big tab here. You just want to push that inwards while pulling out on it. Then after you've done that, you want to take a little flathead screwdriver. This is what I got, this little tiny one. Go ahead and lift this up out of your way. Got mine kind of what it balanced up against the instrument cluster panel. And I've got the steering wheel pulled out all the way and down towards me. Sorry for all the movements. But you'll have a little clip here and one just right on the bottom of it too. And I've done it before. And I've seen it where it just basically kind of lift up. Just like so, it basically kind of pops off. And you can go try to fish it out. Yeah, see if the camera stops me, I don't want my phone does that. And this is all it just kind of looks like basically. Gets a little part number here. The part number for this vehicle, it's a 6E5T. And basically that's all it is. To reinstall it, if you're replacing yours, you may need to get it reprogrammed by a dealership unless you got one of those high thousand dollars tool that can program it. 